What you just heard was the crew of the Delaware Lackawanna train DL3 getting clearance from the Norfolk Southern Dispatcher in Atlanta to leave the Taylor Yard and to return to the Steamtown Yard. What you're watching is that same Delaware Lackawanna train DL3 entering Steamtown on a mild but very windy Sunday, January 12, 2020. It was so windy you can see that brown light post teetering in the breeze. Being up high, the footage that was shot was too noisy and shaky to be useful. So we're going to go back five years from now, almost to the day, when a similar train made the same movement. Of course, back then its symbol was the DL train SB3. Back to the future, and now at ground level, the crew does the standard maneuvers of sorting out the freight that just came up from Taylor Yard.
were a few more back and forth moves, the crew tied the trains down and were done for the day. By this time, the wind had calmed down and the sun was still shining, so I decided to take a little trip up the line. Keep in mind that we're still in the city of Scranton. I hate to break the serenity, but back to business. About a half mile up the Pocono main line at milepost 131.76 is the 855 foot long Nayog Tunnel. The board to the left is the one in use, while the one to the right is not. The track on our left is the main line and the track on our right is the siding. Above us is the viewing platform of Nayog Park. It's a great vantage point to catch trains blasting up the grade or gliding down the hill. The tracks cross over the Nayog Falls and the Roaring Brook. Past the tunnel, this line follows the waterway to the Number 7 Reservoir and the Elmhurst Reservoir all the way to the town of Moscow, Pennsylvania, crossing the brook several more times along the way. After Moscow, the two continue together past the town of Hollisters and their reservoir and into the town of Goldsboro. Goldsboro was named for Jay Gold, the man who built a tannery in the area before becoming famous as a railroad magnate and financier and who was generally regarded as one of the OGs of the robber barons of the Gilded Age. And BT Dubs, the roaring brook that the line followed to get here ended a few miles before we made it into Goldsboro. Making our way back to Scranton, in the short distance between urban sprawl and peaceful tranquility, several railroad artifacts hide in plain sight. The most obvious is this old signal bridge, a historic relic of the Delaware, Lackawanna and Western and Erie, Lackawanna days, along with other now inactive signals along this stretch, they're a rusting reminder of the way railroading used to be. Make sure that you hit the like button before you watch the next video and hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and don't forget to check out the description box for links to other videos that relate to this one. And if you haven't checked out our community section, make sure that you take a look in there. That's where we make all of our channel announcements and you can find lots of pics, some obscure videos, and a lot of talk about trains. For Trains 21, call me AC.